Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Much of the discussion of Photoshop up until this point has focused on what we can do to edit our raster image elements. Remember that raster image elements are pixel based. So when we use any of our painting tools, we are creating changes to the pixels in the specified layer. When we now turn to the drawing tools, we are beginning to learn how to create vector-based image elements. Remember that a vector object is one that is defined by mathematical terms. As such, they can be resized, moved, and warped without losing any of the original object's resolution. It is for just such reasons that the text that we create in our images is so often vector-based. It allows for resizing and manipulation of the text without sacrificing text edge clarity and definition. Now, in the rest of this chapter, we'll examine what other tools that we have that allow us to create vector-based shapes in our images. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.